There's another question, Kazim, on the chat functionality of the WebEx. Uh, the question is, is there a converter card or other solution to let the Hawk board support FXO and FXS cards, i.e., cards used in telephone to connect analog phones and lines? So, uh, definitely, there are a lot of, I have at least 16 uh, active, like, couple of Hawk boards being used for, um, uh, for this um, uh, uh, chat application and uh, I have seen them working like one as FXO and one as FXS and uh, transferring data over Ethernet and uh, uh, using the uh, audio input and audio output on one side and uh, using audio input and output of the output on the other side. So definitely as, as uh, uh, I see on the chat room, so definitely asterisk and a lot of these things have been ported already and uh, I had this ask uh, or uh, actually it is done by Scope IT, I can mention maybe, uh, they have a half board based uh, phone application uh, running a couple of half boards and they demonstrate a very good, uh, uh, very good uh, this, uh, phone application and then they also have uh, speech codecs which are uh, uh, accelerated using the floating point DSP and they even use that for uh, doing uh, noise cancellation and many other things. So even that is very good. So a lot of such things have already been uh, done. You don't need any converter card or something because as I said, like uh, you can, uh, for for now you can use the audio out and imports of talk boards to do the basic uh, fundamental thing and then later if you can, if you need, you can switch it to a uh, hand uh, daughter card or something. Great, thank you. There's another question on the chat functionality of the WebEx. Um, I saw that somebody are turning asterisk on Hawkboard. Could you please inform me, form about a number of simulations, call it can support, call it can support. Thank you. Oh, uh, I don't know the answer, but as I said, like I have seen some uh, good uh, demonstrations which have come from our partners and they are running our phone applications. Uh, what I have seen is like uh, they have just uh, demonstrated with a uh, couple of phones, like uh, full duplex, couple of phones. Um, I, don't, I don't know if they have any good benchmarking thing. Okay. I read another question. There's another question. Um, uh, what is the max VGA resolution supported by Hopboard? So actually, ideally speaking, the maximum VGA resolution is 800 cross 600. Uh, what we have supported in our kernel and the bootloader is actually VGA which is 640 cross 480. As uh, some time back like we uh, we mentioned on Google Groups, uh, our mailing list of our half code, you know, we showed uh, how to enable 800 cross 600 for uh, fun resolution in our Linux kernel. So you can probably follow that uh, patch to uh, switch to 800 uh, 600 uh, resolution. So maximum is 800 600. Uh, VGA or anything below should work uh, very easily. Great. The next question is, the, um, I am wondering if somebody managed to run preempt underscore RT Linux kernel extensions on Hawkboard, and if yes, I would appreciate any pointers to their information source. Yeah, uh, we do have uh, run um, preempt RT patch Linux kernel on uh, OMAP L138 board and also on Hawk board, but uh, it, it was done just like uh, a day or two days effort. I can put out the links which uh, show the integrated uh, uh, patch integrated uh, which is there on our uh, Arago uh, project, so I can give you that link. We have it working on uh, OMAP L138 cluster, so getting it all at all. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, pass you the links for this. Excuse me, if you could send me those links, then I will send them out to the entire list that's on this class. Sure. Okay. Any other questions? Oh, there's another question. What is the status of the composite video slash VPIF in use with programs like GStreamer? It was very good uh, 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 very good with the detailed instructions given uh, by uh, I think uh, Sagler 
for using a composite video input and uh, uh, using even GStreamer uh, and DSP link to actually do DSP acceleration as well. So, um, and also we are having this GStreamer uh, uh, talk there, like on, uh, uh, correct my big date, uh, from region, they will be demonstrating GStreamer running on Hawkbolt, so you can even uh, use that uh, uh, forum or talk to understand the, how we are doing GStreamer on Hawkbolt. But the composite video VPIS interface is already proven and uh, we have a lot of discussion threads on the uh, mailing list and uh, there is also very neat uh, uh, link uh, or wiki which has been written by uh, Sagler. Right. If you want, Thank please uh, post the question again. I think we can uh, again hit you in uh, pulling or posting. Okay. I think uh, there was another uh, question that we missed. So it was from Royce and this is a... Uh, this it is. The question is, is there any t tested example working with Linux and OpenCV on Hawksboard for image processing applications using the inbuilt DSP? Uh, I don't have any uh, any application to show you or de demonstrate you, but definitely there has been a lot of efforts which has gone already to show OpenCV libraries uh, running on Hawksboard. But uh, what we have seen is like um, OpenCV running on, or uh, OpenCV libraries directly running on ARM, which is running at 300 megahertz, and then doing the uh, you know, image processing is not a feasible solution, which has, uh, with, with the 128 MB DDR, which is there on board, which is not uh, really that great. What we have seen would really benefit the community is like if we can take OpenCV libraries and uh, don't take complete OpenCV uh, package, but choose the libraries that you think are very important, and then port those libraries for floating point DSP. You know, since it is floating point DSP, you don't have to worry about uh, the physical. Straight away uh, compiling it for DSP and putting those libraries onto you know, DSP and making it work is possible. Uh, there was a very good talk called C6 run, which we have pulled out uh, for uh, uh, simple reasons, but. Uh, we will be coming back with the C6 uh, 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 talk uh, sometime in September. That actually, so what we have done now is like uh, we have we are implementing something uh, called uh, a very uh, very simple uh, protocol between ARM and uh, DSP. So any application or any algorithm or any application that you want to run on DSP, you can simply cross compile it. Uh, and then uh, there is some tool which you can run, which is called C6 Run. You run the tool, it will actually create uh, something like a sub-library with, with the neatly defined API, and uh, a loader is also provided. So what happens is that you give any uh, any program or algorithm to that tool, it will actually create a PSP site executable for it, and then give you API for you to call from the Linux machine or ARM site. So basically you can... Um, run that on the hot board, automatically the DSP side of the uh, uh, application will be loaded on DSP and whenever you call uh, the API, it will directly run on DSP. So using those kind of tools, it would be really uh, efficient or beneficial to uh, get uh, open CV kind of uh, libraries running on hot board. So I would say like uh, it's a matter of uh, one or two months to get the uh, C6 run up and running on Hopwood. We already have it up and running. Maybe uh, we can give some kind of trial run or something for you to really figure out if uh, you can try open CV with it. Great. Thank you. Are there any other questions from anybody else on the line? Great. Um, I'd like to encourage everybody that's attended today's class. We have two other Hawk Talks coming coming up. On Thursday, July 22nd, we have Developing and Porting QT Applications on the Hawk Board. The offerings of the class are at the exact same times as this class, which will be at 10 a.m. Central Time as well as 7 p.m. Central Time. Then on August 3rd, we have a class that will be offered by Ridge Run. The topic is G-Shimmer Porting on Hawk Board. 
And again, that class will be offered on August 3rd at two different time zones, again, 10 a.m. Central Time as well as 7 p.m. Central Time. We've recorded today's class, including um, the presenters as well as the Q&As, and we will be posting it on hawkboard.org so you can access it Afterwards, if there was a specific, a specific topic or slide that you saw that you would didn't get a chance to write down some notes, you'll be able to access it after the class. If the courses that we're offering on July 22nd or August 3rd are inconvenient for you, we'll be also recording those sessions as well. We took a couple of actions from the Q&A session that I will be emailing out the responses to those to everybody that attended today's class. We appreciate your time. Thank you very much. I hope everybody has a great day.